have your Bibles, turn with me to Matthew, the first gospel. Uh, now on YouTube or Facebook, you are sharing the service of the Pansy Missionary Baptist Church here at Goldston. And I'm the pastor, uh, and the morning message is the far or baptism of fire. Now, Matthew 3, the first 12 verses, the baptism of fire. Last Sunday, we talked about the baptism of water. Next Sunday, Sunday, we'll talk about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Now, we will, now we're talking, speaking of the baptism of fire. Now, beginning at uh, verse 1 following, and in those days, John the Baptist, or beginning there at verse yeah, 1, uh, in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And the same John had his raiment of camel hair and a leather girt about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. And, the, and that then went out, out, out of the of him, Jerusalem. Then went out to him, Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the region round about Jordan, and were baptized in uh, of him in the Jordan, confessing their sin. But when he saw that the, the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O, o generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore me for repentance, uh, and think not to say within yourself that we have Abraham as our father. <coughs> for we say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid into the root of the tree. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is you down cast you too far. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather in his, his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chap with unquenchable fire. Three times he is repeated that fire. And in this message today, the far, the baptism of far. Indeed, baptism, uh, baptize you rather with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me, mightier than, than I, whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with <coughs> the Holy Spirit and fire. Three times repeated there. And with fire. And uh, the baptism of fire. The baptism of fire is followed that Jesus is known to a baptism of fire. He said to his disciples, you know, he said to James and John, who came to his, to him, and wanted to sit in his right hand and on his left, and he said, and he said, you do not know what you ask. Uh, can you drink of the cup that I, I drink of and baptize with the baptism that I'm baptized with? And they said, we can. And Jesus said, indeed, shall you indeed of the cup that I drink of and be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with, with, with all. The fiery ordeal of the disciples of James who asked the question was martyr. Remember, James was head was cut, was the first martyr Christian. He had his head cut off. Uh, remember that uh, by 
Herod Agrippa. John was exiled to starvation and exposure on the island of Patmos. So the ordeal of discipleship, the Lord said again, I've come in uh, Luke 12, 53, he said, <coughs> I've come to set sin far on the earth, and what will I if it be all right, ki already kindled? Suppose ye that I come to give peace on the, on the earth, I tell thee nay, but rather division. In the same household of five, three shall be against the two, and the two against the three. The father shall be divided against the son, the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, the daughter against the mother, and the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. So this ordeal of discipleship, when we enter the faith of our Lord Jesus, we are uh, enrolled, in, when we become baptized, we're enrolled in, into the army of the Lord. Baptism is putting on the uniform of Jesus Christ. The baptism of fire is the ordeal of the saints. This is no stranger or unique or peculiar thing. It is a characteristic of the kingdom of God and the followers of Christ through all ages and all time. Jeremiah thought when he was called to be a preacher of the gospel that he would have honor and be receptive, received. But when he began to preach, they put him in stocks, they made fun of him, they mocked his message, and finally they lowered him into a mari pit to die. And uh, Jeremiah said, I am going to speak any more in his name for the message of his, <coughs> of his deliver to me. I am going to, I'm not going to deliver his message. For ever since I've been called to preach, it's uh, been nothing but harassment, persecution, mockery, ridicule. I am not going to speak any more. And Jeremiah said, the word that is like fire in my bones, and I would not but speak. I could not but speak. And remember Daniel? Daniel was told in the lion's den. Uh, remember uh, the three Hebrew children were sold into the fiery furnace. So I guess we can look and see and he shall baptize you with fire and the fiery ordeal of the sacrifice. There's no man of God that has not known it. There's not known persecution or something like that. Uh, there's one guy, I read about one guy, he said that he had, uh, he walked the aisles of the church, was saved, accepted the Lord Jesus as his Savior. He was a businessman, and he said, everything that I worked for, half of it was God. But he said, I told the pastor, he said, I don't know if I can take this or not. Well, it wasn't long after that he seen the preacher again. And he said, you know, I've got twice as much as I had before because all the people believe what I say. And what I say, they believe. And so, I'm more of a business than any man who, who represents our company. So, the Lord prophesied in the third chapter of Malachi, he said, He shall set up on a refiner and purify silver, and he shall purge the sons of Levi. The Lord puts us all through a burning fire. When the fiery trials cross our pathway, we should stay. My grace is sufficient for all of our needs.
that the flame shall not hurt thee. They're only designed by God. Uh, through the water, they will, they will flood, they're not overflowing. Some goes through the fire, but all through the blood. Some through great trials, but God gives us a fire in our heart to see. Uh, he shall baptize you with fire, the ordeal of discipleship. There is uh, no counting there at summary in the lives of those around about us. It has to go through that. I got tickled. I went to see the, I see the policeman. He was a policeman. He was in in the hospital. I just stopped and seen him. Talked to him. And I said, "Me and you don't." I said, "We don't." I said, "They everybody sees things different between us." But I said, "I see things a lot. They won't invite you to a party because you'll rinse them, and I'll pray for them." He said, that's true. <laughs> and I lived. He's passed up now. But uh, that word that is used, baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire, is in the Greek, is one word. It means that same thing. And I saw the Lord. Remember Isaiah? He said, I saw the Lord lifted up. I saw the glorious creatures crying, holy, holy, holy. He didn't know what to call them. He didn't know what to call the cherub, cherubim. He said, the burning ones. That's what he was saying, the burning ones. He didn't know what they were. He just knew they were burning ones. And uh, you think through history and all the things that had taken place. Think of the people that was burned at stake would not give up their faith for no reason at all. Think about William Carey. Uh, he, uh, he went all through the world, and yet he wouldn't—he would not surrender his baptism. So you can see all that. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, all one word. Now, he also is judgment. And now the axe is laid to the root of the tree, and every tree that bringeth forth not good fruit is you down and cast into fire whose fan is in his hand, and he shall thoroughly purge the floor and gather his wheat into the garner. But he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. He shall and he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. So we build a, <coughs> this life, we build a foundation. It can be wood, hay, stubble, or gold, or silver, or precious stone. But when the fire of time comes, it will be consumed if it's made up of wood, hay, and stubble. But if it's precious gold, then we will say what the Lord has said for us to do. Uh, the same ark that blessed the house of uh, Obed-Edom is the same one that cursed the dragon of the Philistines. And the same fire that fell from heaven and consumed the servants of the son of Jezebel also is the same fire that was sent to bring Elijah up to glory. So the burning ju judgment of that day. Remember in Egypt, 30 AD, Israel made a decision and rejected the Lord. But what happened just 40 years later? The temple was destroyed completely. They had killed way over a million Jews right there in Jerusalem. So the fire went around from house to house. And so it is to us today. It passes on, on every one of us. You do not know Jesus Christ as your Savior. Why don't you come? as we stand and as we sing.